how to make your own interactive whiteboard using a Wii remote that you can find almost anywhere, a special IR pen. You can make these, but I chose to buy mine from Wii Pen Maker on eBay. He does a great job. He's super fast and very helpful. A Bluetooth adapter that plugs into your USB port and a computer. After you've got your Bluetooth installed, you sync it with your um, Wiimote, which is very easy to do. And then for my um, whiteboard program, I'm using Smoothboard by Boon Jin. And he does a great job. And it's free. I want to put my Wiimote on top of my projector. There's some other ways that you can position it, but I do it on top of my projector just so it gets a better view of my screen. Um, it doesn't stay up there all day long, so it won't get too hot. So I have my Wiimote on top of my projector and it's pointed towards my screen at an angle. Now I'm going to calibrate the special IR pin so it knows where um, it's pointing on the interactive whiteboard. And now, there are tons of things I'm going to calibrate again with a different pin. I think this battery is going dead. Try that again. Um, you can draw. You can move things around. And we pin maker has used um, expo markers that he takes apart and then puts all the stuff on the inside. But the best part is, is that there's tons of interactive websites out there that are available for free and the kids love them. really enjoy this because there's a lot of interactive websites they can use. As I think it's time to replace my batteries. I use the Wiimote often. Like this is a great website. It works on um, numbers. It's free. It's educational. My students love it because it's a train. Move the box car to make the train. And this works on counting. Two. Three. Very easy to use. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
and this allows for not my, just myself to be interactive with it, it allows for my students to be interactive with it. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Choose a number. So um, my students also, they do have autism, so this works on counting. It also works on vocabulary, which a lot of my students don't have. One, two, three, four. Works on counting, recognizing numbers, recognizing how many is in a set. Another favorite website of my students that we use with the um, Wiimote is Starfall. Which has tons of great free activities also. Um, it, has, it also has reading, um, different little games and stuff. My students are able to come and make a choice. Get the letter that they want. Um, making choices. M. M. Making choices is one of the big things we work on. And some of my students are nonverbal, so this is a great way for them to interact with something, to make a choice, so they know that they're um, looking at different things. And then they can interact and move through the website. It also works on great um, waiting turns, because as one student's up, the, up here, my other students have to sit and watch. Mmm. Mmm. Moon. Oh, moon. Where are you? So I've also used this not only in my class, I've also started using it for tutoring in the afternoons. Um, let me show you a website I found for that. Um, here's one that we've been using a lot of. It is a silly interactive website, but the kids love it. Um, it asks, read the place value at the top of the screen. What well, says three in the tens place? And so then I have to find out here which one it is. No other favorites. This works on place value, which is something that's on the math tax test. So given the following number, 9,325, click on the tens. So the students are actually able to come up and decide which one is the tens. Oh, see, and I got it wrong. But then I, it goes in to show you how you got it wrong. So there's tons of different things you can use using this, just like a smart board. Smart boards cost $2,000. The Wiimote the special pen from um, Wee Pen Maker and a Bluetooth adapter all cost me about a hundred dollars. Um, so this is a great activity that's easy. It's easy to use. It's very portable, and the kids love it.